Charles, you happen to know Hubert de Givenchy, right? Uh, I did, yes, absolutely. Uh, I know, just, yeah, um, yes, I did. <laughs> and so, could you could you gi give us some information about his taste? Um, absolutely. Well, I, I, I mean, just as a vote of a background, um, I knew Hubert and Philippe. Uh, I had a, a, a very old friend. Um, Philippe Venet who was his partner. Who's his partner? But I had a very old friend um, who was a great friend of theirs called Walter Lees, who um, was a Scotsman who lived in Paris, worked at the embassy um, after the war and uh, things. And he was a great, great friend of um, Hubert and Philippe. And so I knew them through that, through Walter. Um, and then um, I, uh, then in, in 1993, when he had the big sale from the first floor. Uh, Dedicated he, more to 18th century furniture, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, but yeah, very, I mean, it was um, these very grand rooms with the bull and the fantastic bureau and all these wonderful things. So uh, I worked on that with him so that was an extraordinary experience and an extraordinary opportunity that he gave me in my life and um it was a sort of very special moment for me um a that was fantastic things and and really exciting it had uh was a big success which also it, it helps um but also it was an incredible opportunity to work with him every step of the way from the lettering of the catalog to the but details what, of the production. What was it, why was he selling in 93? He was selling in 93 because uh, he'd bought the, the, the first floor, um, but then... Uh, of his hotel was, in, Yeah, in, in, and then the in, in the... Um, in that year, well, I think in 92, 93, the, the ground floor became available and he wanted to move downstairs uh, because he'd had access onto the garden and he had dogs and um, who he loved very much, but also he had access to this incredible garden. And it's so, um, it's so, we, we, not everyone knows where he was living. It was in seven arrondissements in an hotel particulier, 17th century. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17th century. Uh, early 18, that's Hotel de Rouer. Okay. Yeah. And and so, um, there was a second auction in, uh, did you participate to this one? Yeah, when you say a second auction, do you mean the Giacometti? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, it's not my speciality, um, but I was obviously involved in it, yes. Uh, okay. Because yeah, I was close to him and, you know. And but, so, but, this is a third one. So how does it, uh, how is it faithful to the real test of Hubert de Givenchy? For example, I remember once I interviewed him and he spoke about his rotkos he had. Yeah. So this is not exactly the test of Hubert de Givenchy this time. It's more classic, no? It is classic, but it's it's very mixed. I mean, I think that the the thing is, you know, the the um, the sale in ninety three was um, a very curated, in a way, sale of uh, very great, very classic eighteenth uh, um, century furniture. There was obviously the big concentration on bull and the creation of this amazing room with the green velvet, which had had also been in the um, Hotel du Cavois and the Rue de Saint-Père, but was influenced, I think, a bit by uh, Georges Refoy, what he did for the Guinnesses and Avenue Matignon, but also I think that, that uh, his great mentor Balenciaga had, had um, also talked about the green velvet and things. So I think that was, you know, these are all ideas and he was always looking, learning and, 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 and not experimenting, but I think that by the time he'd done that room, it sort of was its most complete com expression with the silver chandelier and everything. So that sale happened uh, and then, and he moved downstairs 
and that was um, still using some fantastic 18th century things, um, wonderful bits of furniture, objects. You know, he loved metal, he loved bronze, gilt bronze, um, which goes into the Giacometti furniture from Jean Ché. He, um, uh, but in a way, you know, if you think of the first room on the ground floor where you had uh, the Picasso drawing, you have the um, Giacometti um, femme qui marche, you know, so we have um, uh, the, the small um, works on paper, which some of which were already from the Rue Faber, so sort of quite a long way back. And, uh, and I think, you know, in some, you say about the three different sales, I think this sale with the mixture of Jean Ché and, and Rue de Grenelle is, is him, it, it's him, uh, and, it's, and it's their life. I, I think that's the thing. I mean, it, it's, um, he, he, you know, it, uh, it, it's the whole range, but I think it, the rooms were more, um, you know, they were less elaborate from a decoration point of view. Um, he was always very strict in, you know, he had a very thing about architectural um, and I think a, a discipline, there was always a discipline and a certain purity in, in all his arrangements. Um, and but, uh, you, you speak about strict, but uh, when we see the photos, uh, it's not so strict, it's really very rich, no? It's rich, but it, 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 it works because it has a very strict underpinning. That's the point. I think it has a strong architectural eye. I think he was, has a very strong, and you know, he often said, you know, and he, and he, he experimented a lot, but he often said, no, no, ça va pas, ça va pas. No, he had, he had, a, <laughs> you know, a, he, he, he was very rigorous. Um, and, and then well, he but... could, add, and then he could add, but, well, but how important was his interior? Uh, how, how do you mean? I mean, it, it was really, it was something which was crucial in his life, right? His interior. Uh, I think so, yes. I mean, I think as the setting for his life, for their life, but I think it was, um, yeah, he loved, he loved, Object, um, works of art, but he particularly loved decorative arts, furniture, um, gilt bronzes, these things. Um, he loved, uh, and he, you know, also liked, but he liked also the best. He was a huge um, supporter of, you know, ateliers, upholsterers, Ducou, um, Toulouse in its day for the bronzes, he, you know, and he liked projects. He loved doing projects and, 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 you know, having things on the go. Merci beaucoup. All right. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Au revoir. Bye. Merci.